And uh, this is Baruch Fleshman here at the Tikkun Elevator Kollel, and I've been traveling and working with really very little time other than just in the morning for the Sifra that Sniuta, and now we're looking at some other things as well. I didn't get a chance to really get into the Zohar. So now we're in Parshas Tazriah. We're over here on page Tov Kof Lamed Dalet. And this may be a short piece. We'll see how it goes. I just ran into this. And I think it's just really, really nice for those of you, excuse me, Kabbalistically oriented. The Matak Pedavash brings these things. Wherever you see that the Matak Pedavash starts writing in the Rashi script, it means that on the side he wants to give us some background. It's an intro to an idea. Now, I haven't been studying this Parsha. I just, just opened up the book. Flipping through, I saw this because I have this little finger here that I pointed at it, and I think it's apparent, you know, it's a good thing. So let's see what's playing. So it's like, if you want to understand what we're going to be starting learning about. And incidentally, today is what? It's the fourth day of the week. Today is the day of Netzach. We're going to have success here in trying to understand this. It's God should bless us all. And understand this. And he says, where it's in the Shar Kaf Vav. First parak. He says, Ki inin hat salam. Now there's a concept here that salam. Now everybody heard the word salam. Salam means shade, shadow, something like that. Salam then means something very different in Kabbalah. So he says there's a concept called the salam. It's the tzari the salam, the lama the salam, and the, ma, the mem the salam. And it's a whole subject. But now he will also look at it in a certain way. He says the concept of the tzalem, what is a tzalem? Hu levush, it's a clothing, dark, very, very thin, ruchni, completely spiritual, hamalvish as haneshama, that covers over the neshama. Vuhu dava memutza, so it's like an in-between layer, bein haneshama, between the neshama, which is penimi, v'hagu fadoim elishnehem, and the body. So it's like in between, it's half body, it's half neshama. Something like that. It's a lavush that has a little bit of both. So therefore it works as a tzalem and an image for both of them. I'm not sure exactly what diukin means, but it's like that word. So then the neshama clothes itself into the body by being clothed inside of this medium called the tzalem. So it's all, and there's a word for it, you could use it. It's a medium. It balances between the complete outside and what's the kudush on the inside. Hine, so that's why he says this. Hine, the neshama, it's a rikatik. The neshama, it's a chalik, for the light of the Ein Sof Baruch It doesn't need to be fixed. The eager bias ha'adam lo'elam hazeh, what is the main purpose of man in this world? He says, the hulat saref is to refine, Vlavorer, another word for refine him, it's a, a sarif is more like burning it, but it means it into bar and to refine out, vlalava and then make white, as hat salam hanaazer menitsutsas, in other words, to purify the salam. The lush and white we see from those who've been learning the idras is a concept of, of, of extreme kindness. Uh, please, uh, please uh, no comment from the peanut gallery. Thank you. Zahine haneshama ene tzarich hatikun. That's what I said. The olam hazeh who the tzarich levara v'lolavin as a tzalem and the asa mechitzem mechan minan minat the nitzutzim. So he says nitzutzim means sparks. So he says, what is the tzalem made out of? Let me let me read it again. Ve'iker bias ha'adam la'olam. Why you are in this world is to refine this tzalem. The tzalem is made na'ase mechan nitzutzim shenaflo. So we go back to the Shvira. The Shvira was Kedusha falling into, falling away from Kedusha. And it's characterized as sparks. Sparks. Nitsutsim. Shanaflo toch klipas noga. That fell into the very most outside, or I would say the most inside klipa. Uh, the klipa noga is a whole thing to, to study and to understand what's going on there. But basically it's the, it's a klipa that has half Kedusha and half Nat. So therefore, it's possible for something Kadosh to be involved with it, but it's dangerous. 
Vatikun al yede ha Torah var mitzvah. So how vatik vitikuno? So if you want to know how it is this salam, which is touching also, let's face it, the bad guys, but has within it pure kedusha. This is refined by the, by the way of studying Torah and doing mitzvahs. And according to the way that a person is able to fix his salam, like this, in other words, the neshama never changes. It's a light from the ends of the ends of Baruch Hu. So this, this is reality, ultimate reality, but the world that we live in is not. Some people say it's 80, 80% bad. So really to find the 20% of Kedush is not so easy. We're working on it. But the whole point is, is to bring that neshama into this world. So therefore you have to work at the protection. It's like an armor around this neshama, so to speak, that knows how to manage its way through the Klippa Noga, hopefully. How does it learn how to do this? Torah Mitzvah, as we said. V'achor Mosa Adam. So then when a person dies, Mitzlavish Zechat Salam, then this Salam is clothed in a neshama. So in other words, the wrapper, when a person dies, the wrapper gets absorbed into the neshama, shebesocha, which is inside of it, but toch levush zach ruchni, and inside of a clothing which is very, very fine, very pure, purely non-physical spirit. Shena'asalo lovin levan leganed, I'm sorry, shena'asalo beganed, and it's made for this selim, and this Nisham and Ganev. The Mitoraso Mitzvoisev, and actually the method by which this comes in is it writing through the person's Torah and his mitzvahs, Shazachabachem Ba'olam Hazah, that he has merited these things in this world. Okay, let's see. Let me see a little bit more. I'm going to stop, stop for one, one second, then I take a break. Now, let me go on a little bit more. The Matuk brings this. Od Mufu Bishar Kavonos. Drush Zion and Sukkos, because Sukkos is a concept of ore that's over us. Sheyesh ba'adam selam echot, because the man a man has a tzalim. This is we're now we're quoting now. Now we had it's just a whole idea of how the tzalim works in terms of guiding the neshama into this world, doing Torah and mitzvahs, and how it's able to be absorbed back into the neshama, which is pure kedusha. Now we we'll talk about something else. He says there's another way to look at it. We see this in Sharkavonos. Because the man has one salam. He has a salam. Because with this is a puzzle. So he said, off with the salam, a man goes. So now we have a little idea of what he means by salam. Let's see a little bit more here. And then there's another two salam. Another two salam. Because we have another pasuk until the air, excuse, into the day blows away, and travels away. I guess the the tzlalim, the, the tzlalim. These two. These two tzlalims. Vehim naasim min haaris, and what are the what is the tzlalim made? The the tzlalim made. They are made min haaris from a glow of the kli, of the vessel, of the chosim shebi yesod the nukva. He says, I'm not really sure that I understand the purpose of the, 100%, the purpose of, of a, the word chosim means seal. Like, uh, it is, close something up. Na'asim min ha'aras, from a glow that comes from the seal, that's found at the yesod, which is the female bottom part that gives birth and so on and so forth, the nukfa, seals it up, closes it up. Why? Because what's inside of the yesod of the nukfa could be tremendously kadosh. And so once again, you have the possibility of the bad guys getting in there, as we, as we all can understand from this world. And by this, that the tzalem is a part of this glow or this radiance that's coming off of this closure which protects the Gedusha. So, so therefore the choysen, neshameris, that choysen which is coming from this radiance, 
It guards nishma sa'ada, the nisha, nishma, nishama of the man that's, let's say, uh, that this is going to be born into a man. Just like we say the metaphor for a woman giving birth as she births to a child. It's the same idea in the spiritual world as a birth too. And the kedusha that's within it, because now we're talking about nishama, something, chelik, uh, from, uh, from the Ein Zabarachu. Min ha-kitzayinim, it protects from the kitzayinim. Shalol yis achzabo ayin sham, so they should not get a hold of her and look over there. Now, the Mikdash Melech, Melech, which he's about to say right here, is because of a Mikdash Melech, the Mikdash, the Mikdash Melech, which was original Pirush, that all of the older, uh, what do you say, the prior, Mikubalim knew. They knew a lot more than we know. And so for that, so therefore they didn't need all so many words like the motto I'm trying to constantly introduce us to another introduction to another introduction. That's what Yaakov Cronenberg used to say that the whole the whole Kabbalah is an introduction to an introduction, a door that leads you to a door that leads you to the to a door. But we do, in fact, just to make a matter, just to make a pun, it's we adore the door. So he says, because of a Mikdash Melech, he writes like that, Shagavonis Ladas Adam Ba'ilam Hazar. The purpose of a man being born into this world who Levarar es and Nitzutzim is to refine the sparks of Kedusha, Nitzutzim Kedeshim, Hashaychem Halav, that pertain to him. So this is really sounds a lot like a Rabbeinu Kodesh, Rabbi Nachman. So Rabbi Nachman says, Azamra Lelokai Bodi. Each one that is, you sing your song, don't sing my song. Some people have harmony. Okay, we sing together. But that's your voice and my voice. So we can work it together. But it has to be the development of who you are. And that's what he says. He says, G'deshim ha-shaycham that, that, that You have to do the things that are that you can do. And I would say that, I, we, once with Chavruz, we saying, work on the low-hanging fruit. The stuff that you can understand. Because that's what you can understand doesn't mean the other guy could be never may understand it because he's looking somewhere else. The fruit that's the fruit for you. That's what I'm saying. Shenaflo min This, all of this that we're talking about, these little nitzutzas that fell from the person's soul, bechet adam arishon beklipas noga, and they fell into that medium ground that I was telling you before, which is called the klipas noga. Vachadibiruch So the refinement process is ayedera b'mitzvahs shemakayim. It comes from the mitzvahs that a person fulfilled. And from these nitzutzim, then, na'asat salam the nafsho. This becomes then the salam for his nafsho, for his nefesh. Now he's he's using the word nefesh, and I don't think instead of neshama. So as I've said before in other shiurim, that people should, people should hear the backgrounds on this, is that na'asa is that nefesh is a different level of kedusha, but it is also kadosh. But it's a different level. It's not it's not the level of the neshama. It's neshama, ruach, and nefesh. So he said, "Naasa tzalon the nafsho, v'gam ha'av v'ha'im." Also, the parents, kafi zuchusim, according to their how refined they are and their merits. Yam shicha nefesh lehivolid. That's all of that is what pushes the child out. And mavarim ketzas and nitzutzim, and then that itself, the kavanas of the parents and the the gedusha that they're trying for, and for this mavarim ketzas nitzutzim hashaycham al havlad. So therefore. We start, the refinement process starts right here. Of all of the nitzutzim that are shaking, that, that pertain to this child that's going to be born, miklipas noga, and pulling him out, pulling those parts out of the klipas noga. Understand that, we understand in spiritual sense, the klipas noga is the most outside aspect, or the aspect right next to darkness. So it is half dark, half, half kadosh. And so, for there's a whole there's a whole Indian in the in in the rab about uh, uh, about this is is beautiful too. She yihyod salam a levush the nefesh of vlad that should become a salam clothing for the vlad for the nefesh. This is the physical nefesh of the vlad, the physical aspect of his spirituality. But as it says, "Am bezen navin as a maimer haba," and if God helps me get back from my trip, which I hope to be able to do tomorrow, then I really uh, I mean. Yeah, be back tomorrow. So then I hope that uh, I'll be able to get into this a little bit more. Once again, Baruch Fleischmann, Tiguan Elevator, Kolel, and uh, hope 
God blesses you today, the day of Netzach, with success in the things that he just said something. What you need today is not what I need. And it could be that what you need right now, let's say like the time where I'm at right now is 938. So if you, you know, could change by 1038, it could tend by ten, change by 1039 what I need. But the fact of the matter is to try to bring the Kedusha into everything you do. As Rabbi Memon says, you could, you could do it while you're walking. You could think about the Ain't of Baruch Hu. You could just bring them into your life. So I want, to be, I want you to be into me. That's an effort from the bottom to the top. So I want to bless everybody, and we should all be zeichel to have a nitzchik day today. Call to.